Hello everyone and welcome to Zidane Astrology. This is a new tarot series that I'm bringing you with on a weekly basis where you will find a short spread being given to you for the past, present and future readings. I hope this resonates with you and that you learn something and that it helps you in your journey over the sea of life. Always take a brighter day with Vedic Astrology to guide you. I invite you to visit zdamastrology.com, subscribe, share for your part for readings, your tarot spreads, your runes, further information for you on chakras and crystals. Transparency is key to my readings and key to the information that I dispatch to you for guidance, for learning, for development. Through Bhagwan's blessings, I am able to do these things and I share with you the selection of the cards for January 2nd to the 8th, 2022, what I will call Tarot for week one to indicate what are past, present and future uh, potential outcomes and, and pitfalls may be. In this way, I ask that you stay with me on this journey to guide you over the sea of life. And our first card depicting the past is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles telling us what our past actions and karmas were. The present card is Justice. Number 11 in the Major Arcana of the Tarot Pack, Justice. And our future card is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups. So we have the King of Pentacles as past, Justice as present, and the Page of Cups as the future. Okay, the Page of Cups, Justice, and the King of Pentacles. Future, present, and past. Let's deal with the past first. And the past tells us about abundance, growth, hard work paying off for the future, where you were stubborn but faithful, you were blunt in emotional matters, you were secure and comfortable in relationships, and what your actions did brought you success in business, in your partnerships, in your relationships. So you have all that gold surrounding you at your feet. It is there. You are holding the golden pentacle where your resources are on your lap, as it were. You have persons surrounding you, angels and devils, but you made the right choice so that your past is inflicting and improving your present. And your present tells you about justice, about karma, about Saturn, legal issues, emotional issues. You reap what you sow, as they say. Your present situation is based on your choices in the past. And in the past, you did the hard work. You were stubborn, you were faithful. You may not have communicated properly, but you gained a success through your actions. So that the present will give you karma. Do you have Saturn in your in your cards right now? What is the Mahadasha that you are going through? You know, is it Sadisati for you? What is the justice that are you you are seeking? Are you seeking justice from somebody or is justice going to be done to you? What is your present situation? And it tells you that that will be on your mind, that something will be on your mind that probably you think that you deserve or that you think may be coming to you to pay back for something. And that is justice. Justice is all about balance. It's all about doing what is right, when it is right, and to whom it should be right for. So let us see what the Page of Cups is going to bring for us in the future. And the Page of Cups is all about optimism, rebirth, spirituality. It's usually a message or a messenger bringing you good and happy news. It connects you to your inner side and your playful side. You want to enjoy yourself. You want to have good times. You want to have fun and games. You have also gained a level of emotional security and you are going to get good financial news. So that this is your past, your present, and your future for the week beginning January 2nd to January 8th, 2022. 
for those who know of ZeramAstrology.com and the YouTube channel and the videos that I have put out on my website at ZeramAstrology.com, you know that I try to align and show you how Vedic Astrology works with the Tarot and how the history of the Tarot is ingrained and embedded in Vedic Astrology and the science of Vedic Astrology. So that you know Bhagwan's blessing is always with you that I always seek to give you safety, health and happiness from Bhagwan's blessings through me to you. I am glad to be a messenger for your past, present and future reading and I hope that you remain safe and stay healthy until we see you the next time. Bye.